Hey guys, this is Luigi Rocks 2014 back with uh, part 11 of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. In this video, we're going to continue with more of World 4. Um, yeah, this is a different recording session, and yeah, this is being recorded on a different day. Um, most of my recording sessions usually last up to at least four videos, sometimes eight or twelve, like in Mario Odyssey when I recorded the first twelve videos in one day. Uh, this time ended up being different. I ended up recording mainly just two videos, um, and that was mainly because in part twelve, like some of you guys probably remembered if you saw my side note that I posted on my Discord server that... Uh, I had a bit of some complications recording the first uh, two, you know, recording part 12, mainly due to the fact that, um, that upon recording it, um, apparently, uh, gosh, I don't even know how else to put this, uh, during the time when I recorded part 12, a family member had stopped by the house, um, at, at one point, it was a family member that, for one, I hadn't seen in ten years, and two, a family member that I never really got along with so great, and even to this day, I can't really say me and that family member are really on good terms at this point. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I didn't really go into, I don't think I even ever went into too much details about who this family member was or anything like that because you know there's just no point in really talking much about it because it's not really something I feel like I really want to talk about in all honesty um, so yeah that's why this recording session this and part 12 were recorded why I only did two videos for this one day I don't remember what day this was recorded I could check the USB files or whatever but I don't really feel like it but yeah, I think this was like around April that I recorded, um, April of 2021 that I recorded this video, um, as well as, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, this video in part 12, and, yeah, part 12, I just, you know, because at that point when I recorded part 12 and stuff, yeah, I just was kind of already in a not-so-great mood, because, you know, the thing was, you know, with COVID-19 being a thing back in 2021, it didn't really help. It didn't help having this one family member who I hadn't gotten along with so great over the last several years coming over, especially at a bad time when, you know, we had the COVID-19 pandemic and stuff. It just, yeah, sh the day that I recorded this in part 12, I, I have to say it really was not a really good day to be recording at all. In all honesty, um, it, it was just awful, in my opinion. Really awful. Um, but anyways, let's actually try to talk about this uh, level that we're on. Um, yep, it's the same music as the first level, Deep Sea Cave or Cove or whatever. And yeah, I did listen to the video file before recording this. I also listened to the file after recording the post-commentary and in the last video, and yeah, it's pretty much the same music, and all that stuff from the first level, alright, so, let's head over here, avoid the fish, and then, yep, just make your way to the checkpoint, yeah, a lot of random cuts were going on because of the stupid, uh, camera reflection that was happening, uh, let's see, yeah, get Diddy Kong, and then, Yeah, I was trying to see if there was something up there, but apparently... There... Oh no, there was something up here. I needed, uh... I needed that little enemy thing to get up here. Alright. So head in here and you'll find yourself a bonus room. Yep, grab the bananas and then... Yep. Just keep grabbing them and yep. Also, upon listening to the file as well, um, you might also hear background noise from some of my family members when I was recording this video. Um, so I do apologize if you do end up hearing that as, as well. Alright, so there's the O, and then just head down here. 
to the Solette area. It's kind of interesting how it like changes to, to the normal animation to the Solette animation. If I'm even saying that right. Okay, yep. Grab some, some bubbles so you don't end up running out of air. Alright, there we go. Alright, so yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up here, so we'll just make our way down to the bottom. Alright, um... I don't know why I ended up going this way. It was kind of stupid. Alright, so head out over here, hit that switch. Or don't hit it. Because, yes, you gotta do this, you gotta do this, like, accurately. So you hit the switch, you make your way through that before the thing closes, and then, yeah, then you just keep continuing onwards through the level. I think I only ended up getting seven puzzle pieces in this level, so, yeah, this will be quite interesting. Okay, yeah, that didn't work out so great. And I lost Diddy Kong. Wow. Oh, yeah, I think I went over here because I thought there was something hidden, but... Nope, there's not. Yeah, come on, grab the bananas. Oh, yep, there's a puzzle piece. Yep, so open that up and then head over here, grab a heart. Okay, um... See, right here I ended up failing. Took a hit because I basically was too slow trying to get down there, so. Alright, so here we are up at this area, and you need a, you need this little penguin enemy to break that bag open. So we're going to do that right now. Grab him. There we go. There's puzzle piece number six. And then, yeah, let's check and see if I can go down there, but nope. I don't know why I would want to, though, but yeah. Alright, banana coin. And then we'll just make our way down here. Try to grab that balloon if you need lives. Oh, there's a puzzle piece up there, number seven. Yeah, you actually want to wait until... Yeah, you want to make sure you're able to time that right. Because, yeah, you're going to be taking a lot of hits if you're not careful. Alright, so hit the switch and then try to hurry across before the, the walls close in. Okay, yeah, there's multiple different switches, so yeah, that actually helps. There's the G. <laughs> And at this part here, you're going to have to be a little more careful. And I didn't think I was going to get the DK multiplier, so that's why I only ended up getting eight banana coins. Alright, so yep, only seven puzzle pieces, but it can't be helped. Alright, so... Alright, let's see, move on to the next level. I think we're going to World 4B next, so yeah. Right. 
this is the one where the another old remix from the first Donkey Kong Country game plays, um, which is the underwater theme from the first game, Aquatic uh, Ambience. The, th the song appeared in Donkey Kong Country Returns um, in the level uh, Blowhole Bound, but it was a slightly different remix than the one everyone kind of remembered, but this one basically sounds more like the original remix than what the one in Returns sounded like. Um, and yes, I know this did play in, in some previous levels, but again, I didn't bother listening to the video file at the time before recording this post-recording, because I was just completely lazy at the time. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, this level is actually really annoying because you have to collect keys to to progress through the level and stuff, and that's one of the reasons I don't like this level. Yeah, the music is good, but I don't like how you have to collect keys just to progress further through the level. Okay, so, yep, finally got a partner. Yeah, I was trying to grab that O, but that freaking shark enemy was in the way. Yeah, it didn't seem like I could avoid getting that without getting hit, which was re retarded. Alright. Alright, there's our key, so let's grab that. See if there was... Oh, maybe not. Yeah, I don't think I ended up getting all the puzzle pieces in this video, or in this level, but... You know, it's whatever. There's a key there, so... Why am I going up to the top? That's... Oh, wait, I think I know what I'm doing. I was going to the bottom right? No. What am I even trying to do then? Like, what the heck? Okay, I don't know what I was doing. Weird. Alright, let's just go down. Yep, so we'll just head over here. I don't think I need those bananas, so we'll be fine. Yep, so this is where we gotta go. Oh uh, yeah, I don't think it works on that one. I don't think that's a green treasure chest. And that's definitely the one we need to be finding. So there's a puzzle piece there. Um, yeah, that little keyhole there, we need we need that's the plate that's the one we actually need to go to the main part. But what's annoying is you have to these keys only work on specific treasure chests, and I was being really stupid because I thought the game would just automatically get you... The, I thought you could just automatically... Like, the game automatically gives you the key, but no. You have to manually go... You have to manually touch it just to grab it, which is kind of stupid, but it eh, kind of makes sense at the same time. Alright, so over here, I think I collected these bananas thinking, oh, maybe there's a puzzle piece, but there's not. So, let's just go in here. Alright, um... Oh yeah, when you collect all the bananas, um... These little, uh, doors end up opening up. Yeah, and then we got these annoying swordfish-looking enemies. Oh crap, no! Yep, watch out for the bombs, don't mess with those. Yeah, I don't know why I was backtracking. I think I was trying... I kept thinking maybe there was a puzzle piece back there, but there wasn't. Yeah, these guys, you have to basically tackle them from the back if you want to get rid of them. Oh, there's something up here. Yep. A little hidden area. Okay. I think if you get all those bananas, I think you get a puzzle piece as well, but 
thing was, I didn't know that at the time, and I think as a result, I ended up missing all the bananas, or I didn't end up getting that puzzle piece, so. I mean, I could be wrong on that, but I don't know for sure. Um, so anyways, let's, uh, I'd say let's get back into that thing and try to, try to end up grabbing, um, end up grabbing more stuff here. Alright, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm taking the top path, I mean, the only thing I could do is just go through here. This just takes you to the same area as before. Just you just come out a different area, different thing or whatever. All right, this time we get a purple key, which yep doesn't work on that keyhole, so we have to find a purple treasure treasure chest. Um, all right, let's just go in here. Yes, it fell up on air, even though I technically didn't need it yet. Oh yeah, I went up through these little things because I thought there could be something up there, but there's not. Alright, let's go in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where we gotta go. Maybe not. Yeah, this part kind of got a little confusing, because, yeah. You know, there was a whole lot of stuff that wasn't really making sense. And... Yeah, I just decided to go through here, because I wasn't going to waste time messing with that annoying swordfish enemy. But yeah, this this part definitely, I kind of got a little confused to where I was supposed to go. Yeah, it took me a while to find the other treasure chests, but... Um, I don't know if I did any cuts or not. I don't, don't think I did. But yeah, I definitely got lost here for a second because I wasn't sure what the hell I was even doing. Alright, so yeah, check down there to see if maybe there was something down there I missed and there wasn't. But it actually had turned out that, no, I did actually need that keyhole. So yeah, that was actually my bad. I forgot that purple key was where I needed to put it in. Yep, if I hadn't wasted all that time dicking around, I probably would have, um... Probably would have made it to the end of the level. And yeah, I died here, so I just decided to do a cut and just, yeah, cut back here. Yep, grab a balloon. Even though I had already replenished all my lives. So, I think the last puzzle piece was right past the end barrel, which, you know, I just didn't felt like looking for it, so... Yeah, it was whatever. Um, so now we're gonna go to the left. Yeah, I'm having some allergy problems for some reason. They hadn't been acting up that badly, but, you know... Who knows? Alright. Alright, so now, this area we have the... Yep, the bonus room to start with. So yep, the Lockjaw Saga music pretty much ends up returning once we get through this uh, bonus room, so yep. Let's grab these, grab all this bullshit. Yep, I pretty much failed here. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's the first puzzle piece, and now we're going to make our way down to the bottom. Yep, so let's go. Yep, 
Yeah, so I think, um... Yeah, let's... Yeah, grab this. I think if I remember that World 4-2 level with the minecart, I think there was a puzzle piece where you had to kind of like get across to the area without the platform falling off, and I think... Yeah, I think that was one of them that I got, but I don't know. Anyways, let's just, yeah, talk about this level here. So, yep, we got the underwater Lockjaw Saga music playing, and that's pretty much what you're going to be hearing throughout most of this level. Alright, so yeah, there's some bananas to collect for a puzzle piece. Two out of five. I don't think I ended up... I don't think I did end up getting all of the puzzle pieces, but... I know I collected quite a few majority of them. More than I did in the second level. Alright, so, yep, just go over here, just grab that thing. Alright, yep, just make your way out of here, head down here, and then, yep. Yep, so here we are, yep, losing Dixie Kong, because, you know, I'm just so bad at this level. Yeah, I think I did a cut there, because I think that was where I got interrupted or something. I'm not sure. But, yeah. Could have probably just been me dying, but yeah. Which I think that's what happened. I'm just, I don't know. Anyways, yep. There's a barrel here. And, yep, we have this little giant octopus enemy, which you might remember from uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Um, so, yep, he's back again. And much more annoying to deal with this time, believe it or not. Um, but if I also remember correctly, yeah, there's puzzle pieces here to collect. In this area, or somewhere around here. Yep, there's the O. And yeah, it's basically far from over. Yep, there he is again, stalking you. Okay, so yeah, there's a barrel there that we can get. Let's grab Dixie and then just get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, and there's a bonus room up here that I somehow managed to remember. This one, I think, is technically the fourth puzzle piece, since I think I ended up missing the third one. But, who knows. Okay. Yep, so there's the puzzle piece, and that's it for that bonus room. Yep, scrap the heart, and then, um... Yeah. There's the end, and then... Another checkpoints, as if one wasn't annoying enough. Okay. Yeah, I went up here thinking, oh, maybe there's a puzzle piece, but there's not, so let's just go down here. Yep, grab all those bananas, not that I really need them. So, now we're back to this annoying area again, and... Yep, I decided to take the hit. I think at this part here, I just ended up, um... Yeah, I just ended up taking mostly L's here. Yeah, once I got down to the last hit, I was like, okay, that's it. I, I need Dixie Kong. 
Because, yeah, this was just one of these things where I just decided to cheese the level. And I think there was a puzzle piece right over there that I just now missed without realizing it. Um, so, yeah, that one was a bit of an epic fail on my part. But, anyways, um, I think we're about to come up at the end of the video. So, thank you all for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in part 12, and Happy New Year. And, yeah, later, guys.